What is good, my camera crew? I'm so pumped that we are back here yet and for another tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. Today, we are going to go over how we can take footage that you've taken. It doesn't matter if it's the best quality cinematic shot on a red footage or if it's just footage shot on your iPhone. It doesn't matter. We're going to add letterboxes to it, which is just going to give us a crazy cinematic feel. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's a scientific formula of why it feels more cinematic, but I just know that it does. And we can do this in the click of two buttons. That's right, two buttons. We're gonna boom, boom, and there's gonna be letterboxes on our footage. And there's a whole bunch of different presets. Also guys, if you're not subscribed, we are trying to smash the goal of 10,000 subscribers by August. We're gonna be doing a huge camera giveaway. Do not miss out on it. Become a part of the camera crew because we're the dopest crew in all of the creative industry on YouTube. So don't miss out. August is coming quick. You know, put it on your calendar. Tell your friends, tell your grandparents, tell your cousins, tell everybody. We're giving away cameras and you don't wanna miss it. But anyways, I'll quit wasting your time. Let's get into DaVinci Resolve and let's go over adding letter boxes to your footage. All right, now that we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna take these super cool shots that I did not shoot myself. I got these from Storyblocks. So if you're ever needing really good high quality footage, Storyblocks, they're the people to go to. Also, not sponsored, I'm gonna make that announcement. Not a sponsored video. Okay, so here's our shots and they already look super cinematic, super dope. So, but we're gonna make them even better. So we're gonna come up to timeline. We're gonna come to output blanking and you have all of these different options. So my personal favorite is the 240. Like I feel that is the most cinematic, but you have all of these different options. So make sure you play with it. Make sure you test it on your footage, what ones you like better. But if you hit that 240, just like that, it adds those letter boxes. I mean, how cool is this? Two clicks and here you are. And the nice thing about it too, is it applies it to your whole timeline. So that way you don't have to worry about having adjustment layers over your clips. You don't have to add any other like, you know, cropping effects. This is just on all of your clips already. And another really cool thing is if you adjust like your X and Y, it doesn't affect the letterbox. You can zoom in, whatever you do, it doesn't affect the letterboxes. They're just there. And when you export, they will actually stay there. So that is a really cool way to add them. It's really fast, efficient. And no matter like if you're on 4K footage, 1280 by 720, so 720 footage, 1080p, it does the math for you. So you don't have to sit there and like count pixels and do the math to figure out what is the 240, you know, ratio. It just, it, it knows. So it adds it for you and it makes it look super sick. So if you guys didn't know that, I will give it a shot. Make sure you're subscribing, come a part of the camera crew. Like I said, hitting that 10,000 subscribers and we are giving away a camera. I'm being serious right now. So don't miss out. Uh, I love it. each and every one of y'all and I hope you like this tutorial and we got some big things coming so I'll catch you guys in the next one.